an event like this and, and then I don't know, cohesion maybe helping you guys get set up with that. What yeah. What is the what's the value on that for you guys? Man, I mean it's awesome to come out here with uh, some teammates and just create bonds that, you know, you wouldn't otherwise uh, meet people that uh, are huge supporters of you and uh, kinda give them back. So it was a it was a great time out here. It's you and then like a bunch of new guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, that's what did that feel like? I mean, you're you're obviously trying to be a leader, yeah. but you're, like you're helping maybe get them out in the community. Right? Yeah, uh, I mean, I know it's tough once you first move to you know a new place, uh, especially when you're you know there for the first time, uh, like Jihad and uh, and Vic, a few of the guys. Um, so I think this is a great event to kind of get them outside of the woody, uh, experience the Columbus area, and uh, just kind of build a brotherhood a little bit. Yeah. What uh, what role does cohesion play in that? Uh, yeah, yeah there, it, it's huge. Um, you know, I'm been talking to them for a while and then uh, this is the first event I've done with them and you know I'm really uh, at a loss for words of how impactful it was so uh, they did a great job of setting it up and you know getting this all together and uh, it was a great time. Are you seeing more NIL opportunities come your way now that you're in this position where you're gonna be competing for a starting job? Yeah I'm, I'm just taking it slow uh, just trying to be smart with everything and uh, not rush anything and, and just uh, make wise decisions. How are you just kind of approaching this prayer for spring now and knowing the opportunity that's in front of you? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, the first day that I got here as a Buckeye, I put my head down and uh, got to work. And now it's just the, the same with a, a little bit more of an opportunity in front of me. Uh, but, you know, it's still working hard, doing the, the right things on and off the field. So nothing too crazy. Is there a lot of daily throwing sessions between you and Marv and the other receivers? <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing's changed there. I mean, we've been going at it for... Uh, for five years now, six years now. So, um, you know, his, uh, his work ethic, I think definitely pushes everybody else. So uh, we're definitely getting to it. Do you wake up like the morning after the Peach Bowl, mm -hmm. knowing reasonable chance that CJ was gonna go to the NFL? Like, yeah. Did your life feel any different that day? Or was it like, okay, this is, I'm gonna I try mean, to treat this whole Yeah, day. you go on social media, you would think your life changed, but uh, <laughs> Uh, honestly, I mean, my mindset's just been the same. Uh, just trying to be the best uh, version of myself, trying to uh, push myself to, to become the best player I possibly can be. Um, and, you know, even when CJ was here, that was my mindset. And now that he's gone, that's still my mindset, so. What's your relationship like with you and Devin as you guys oh, go through yeah. this? Oh, yeah, no, we're great. Um, you got here last year and we kind of hit it off right away. Um, and anytime you spend that much time in a room with a guy, and meetings and practice and, you know, lifting and just everything that goes into it, you get pretty close uh, pretty quickly. Uh, and we know we both know what it is. I think we're both pushing each other on and off the field. So, you know, I couldn't ask for a better relationship. That's my guy. And you guys have a new guy in your room too, Tristan Gebbia. What's yeah. he brought to your room so far? Man, he fit in great. Uh, he got here, I think like a month ago. Um, and one of the smartest guys I've met uh, so far. He's seen a lot of college football. Uh, he's uh, very knowledgeable in a lot of the areas. Um, and just from a personality perspective, he's funny, fit right in. So I think that was a great addition to the room. Does that help you to have kind of an older guy like that, a guy who wants mm -hmm. to be a coach who can kind of provide mentorship? 100%. Um, I think that with him coming in, that kind of gives you uh, almost another coach in the room, to be honest, uh, just with the amount of football that he's seen and uh, everything that he knows about the game. I mean, you can you know, just look over and ask him a quick question. He's going to give you an insightful response. So uh, definitely a great addition. What does the extra year of experience give you? Like, does it give you anything as you go through this? Or is... Yeah, I think uh, your freshman year is a lot about learning, uh, making mistakes, um, and learning from those mistakes. And then I think last year, taking that next step of learning from the mistakes you made and then starting to put it all together. Um, and last year, I felt like I was at uh, a really good spot uh, where I wasn't like overwhelmed with you know defensive looks or you know how much stuff we're putting in uh, during the week. Um, so it was a good year, just another year of preparation, another year of just uh, sharpening uh, your craft and all that. So, uh, you know, I'm never going to complain about uh, the two years that I got to, to prepare.